June 2022. An unknown contender, the Solano County Library wins the California Library Association's PR Excellence Award in the electronic category, beating out dozens of other projects that were actually good. The video that gave them the win? An annoying infomercial promoting the library's new video game collection. The person responsible for it? An odd-looking librarian slash human potato, Christopher Diaz. This is the story of what happened behind the scenes of the award-winning production. This is Solano County Library Behind the Video. It all started in March of 2021. A local comic book convention, VACACON, was forced to go online due to COVID-19. They contacted the Solano County Library, asking them if they would like to promote any of their collections during the convention. Mike Perkins, head of the Vacaville Cultural Center Library, immediately approached the best video director on staff, Chris Diaz. Mike was practically begging me to make a video for the convention. Who can blame him? I actually contacted Chris because all the other librarians in the county were too busy. Um, Chris is pretty much useless right now, so it was either him or nothing. With his new task, Chris diligently began brainstorming ideas for the commercial. After days of tirelessly brainstorming ideas, he was still unable to think of the best way to promote the video game collection. Then, with the help of a coworker, Suzanne Clerkin, he made a breakthrough. I love infomercials. If a stranger is taking the time to yell at me about something on the TV, I know it's gonna be a good product. So I usually turn on the TV and watch infomercials on my breaks. Um, and that's when I thought this should be something like that. I was just eating lunch in the break room when Chris tried to recruit me to some video thing. Took my lunch, threw it against the wall. Exploded like a hand grenade. People were trying to waste time on other things, but I was able to convince them otherwise. I thought it would be fun to work on a video with Chris. It was wrong. Very, very wrong. Working with Chris on the video was the worst thing ever. Production would end up being a nightmare. Chris forced multiple coworkers into being in the video and was often furious for reasons the crew didn't quite understand. I was only in one scene. All I had to do was walk from the left side to the right side, and he made me redo it like 78 times. And I asked him, um, I asked him for feedback, and, sorry, um, thank you, I'm sorry. I asked him for feedback, and um, he said that I was walking like a discount bag of of shredded cheese taught me how to walk and to do better. And like, what does that even mean? I'm sorry, can we turn it off? Chris would take his trophy from last year and he would hit us with it if we weren't doing a good job. He won us the only award last year. He didn't actually receive a trophy. He just made his own. Um, he called it his learning stick. And um, sometimes he would get tired of beating us because it was so frequent. So he would have other crew members take turns to beat each other for him. What were some of the things Chris yelled at you for? One was for looking like Tim Allen's sidekick in the Home Improvement show. Everyone had a great time on set. So why didn't the supervisor try to stop this? Well, someone did try. Mike tried. At one point I uh, approached Chris and tried to intervene to stop him from abusing his coworkers. How did that go? Well, not very well. Uh, he started yelling at me and berating me and um, I was trying to talk to him, but then he started fat shaming my cat and uh, that was really hurtful. Uh, my cat's not fat, just, you know, very fluffy. Um, but I went to my office to, to try to resolve the issue and spent most of the afternoon calling gyms, finding out if they did any sort of personal training and fitness for cats. Um, still looking for that, never found it. But um, uh, the Chris thing didn't go well either. After the video was released at VACACON, it was soon posted on YouTube for the world to see. Soon it was submitted to the CLA for consideration of a PR Excellence Award. It won, giving Chris his second CLA PR Excellence Award. It was a real honor to be awarded the CELA PR Excellence Award. But the real reward was the fun that people had making the video. The 
intensity of the situation had made me develop um, a split personality to deal with the trauma and apparently this other me is like this weird mix it's like a british australian man i think named professor pantalones and he's, he's an orthopedic salesman i don't know does it make sense but uh... oi governor what kind of shoes you wearing come on down to me store and i'll fit you for some art supports mate never did get to eat my lunch and he never would thanks to chris diaz this was solano county library behind the video